Let's now shift our focus to Canada, where incidents of vandalism against symbols of Hindu identity continue. In the most recent incident, one of the biggest and oldest temples in Canada was vandalized and defaced with certain Khalistan referendum posters over the weekend. And what is shocking is that this is the fourth such incident by the Khalistanis in Canada in just this one year. Now, these anti-India elements continue to get a free run under the Justin Trudeau government all in the name of freedom of expression by sticking up referendum posters on Hindu temples. Now, the latest incident unfolded at midnight on Saturday. Security cameras at the temple showed two Mars men pasting pro-Khalistan posters on the walls and also in the gates of the Lakshmi Narayan Mandir in Surrey in Canada. Now, the video of this incident has gone viral on social media. It shows the masked men pasting posters, taking photographs and then fleeing from the scene almost unchallenged. As mentioned earlier, this is the fourth such incident of temple vandalism in Canada just this year. Now, early in the month of April, the Swami Narayan Temple in Canada's Ontario had been vandalized. In February, the Ram Temple in Canada's Mississauga was targeted and before that, in January, a temple in Brampton had been defaced with certain anti-India graffiti. These defacements have included graffiti that has also targeted the Indian Prime Minister and has also expressed support for the Khalistan movement and has demanded for a referendum. In the latest incident, the posters that were put up read, Canada investigates India's role in the 18th June assassination. This was a reference to the killing of a known Khalistani leader, Hardeep Singh Nijar. Now, Khalistani extremists say that India is responsible for the killing of Nijar, one of the prominent secessionist faces from the outlawed association. But the 45-year-old Khalistan Tiger Force chief was shot dead on the 18th of June by two unidentified men in the parking lot of Guru Nanak Gurdwara Sahib in Surrey in Canada. He was designated a terrorist by India under Unlawful Activities Prevention Act in 2020, but the Khalistani menace is not limited, remember, to just the North American nation alone. Now, several incidents of Khalistani elements defacing and vandalizing Hindu temples in other nations, including the likes of Australia, United Kingdom, and also the United States, have now come to the surface. Now, in the wake of such incidents of vandalism, the Indian Hindu community has staged protests and has also demanded for urgent action. The spurt in Khalistani activism has deeply disturbed the Indian strategic quarter. The Indian government has strongly condemned the vandalism of Hindu temples, noting the dramatic rise in what have been dubbed as anti-India activities. New Delhi on multiple occasions has urged the Canadian authorities to take some preemptive action against these Khalistani elements. But these separatist forces continue to operate pretty much freely in the Western nations. Outlawed in India, the Khalistanis have taken asylum in Western nations where several of them happen to be illegal immigrants. They've taken refuge on foreign soil and these radicals claim asylum by weaving tales of suppressed rights in India. To prolong their stay, they also argue that their lives and rights are in fact under threat in India. In Western nations, they, of course, try and control the narrative by intimidating. And what is more, their activities seem to have a distinct Pakistani intelligence footprint, which is why the Indian intelligence agencies are also looking at it very closely. Now, Pakistan's decades-long modus operandi in spreading fake anti-Indian narrative provides the perfect template. Borrowing a page from ISI's sinister playbook, Khalistani groups are seeking legitimacy in the Western world, where freedom of expression supersedes everything. But these Western nations have been turning a bit of a blind eye towards India's repeated concerns. And the West continues to play softball towards these anti-India Khalistani elements, then India's tr trust on the Western nations will, of course, be at risk. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.